Ariana Grande declares war on Pete Davidson after he mocked their engagement. Plus, Ari pays a touching tribute to her ex, Mac Miller. Hey guys, it's Lisa B for Hollywood Life, and before we get into Pariana Donde's messy relationship, let's start off on a lighter note because Ari is taking her latest album on the road. Tickets for her sweet inner tour go on sale starting Monday, so set your alarms, mark your calendars, put it in your pagers, and I'm kidding with that one, I don't even know what those look like. But all right, speaking of Ari's music, she performed some of her biggest hits for her BBC One special and hit high notes that basically no one else can do. More seriously though, Ari got pretty emotional while talking about the horrific Manchester attack that happened during her concert last year. And the outpouring of love, not just from people from Manchester, um, but the nation really. We've all taken you slightly under our wing because you came back. Thank you. Ari also held back tears when she opened up about her anxiety and said, quote, the most important thing is to remember that everybody has this. Talk to your loved ones, reach out to people, especially your friends online, reach out to each other. And I couldn't support that more. We really are all one at the end of the day. But okay, according to Metro, this special was filmed before the tragic death of her ex, Mac Miller. And if you've been following Ari, you know that's been understandably really hard for her. In fact, she recently paid a touching tribute to her ex on Instagram. She posted a photo of herself with his dog and wore what seems to be his sweater. Now, of course, it's possible this isn't the exact sweater Mac wore, but fans have been saying it's a way for her to honor his memory. But all right, switching gears to Pete and Ari. It's been nearly two weeks since they called off their engagement, and Pete is already joking about it. Hey, Maggie, uh, I'm Pete. Hey, Pete. You want to get married? No. Over oh, three. Well, I guess that's one way to cope. In fact, TMZ is reporting Pete was open to making jokes about jumping into relationships too soon and was in good spirits while preparing for it. Anyway, Ari went on Twitter and let everyone know she was not feeling Pete's joke. She posted and eventually deleted, quote, for somebody who claims to hate relevancy, you sure love clinging to it, huh? She also retweeted this fan who referenced the promo and said, quote, SNL is about to milk their breakup just like they did with their engagement. And she also had a few other vague things to say like this, hell nah though, as well as thank you, next. Now as of this recording, TMZ also has an update revealing the two had actually promised to not publicly reference their split. The site claims Ari felt betrayed because Pete joked about it during a stand-up routine at a charity event not long ago and this SNL promo just made things worse. Pete even planned a skit about their split this week, but has since got the okay from Lauren Michaels to dead it after hearing how upset the promo made her. But all right guys, hit the subscribe, like, and bell button. And what's a good song to listen to if you're going through a breakup? Asking for a friend.